I'd like to speak to all the other ministers that are here. Amen. To oversee the memory. Amen. It's hard to be praying for her. So if the flu is coming around, amen. Let's be praying for her. Amen. You know that she work with babies all day long. Amen. Sometimes that makes you a little bit more subject to those type of illnesses. Amen. And more importantly, we're going to ask you to keep Deacon uh, Troy Langley up in prayer. I spoke to uh, his mother today, and even, amen, being a little ill himself, she was concerned about her son, which is rightfully so, amen. But he's uh, dealing with some complications, amen, as it relates to, amen, God blessing him with his kidneys, amen, that he's been praying and believing God for for some years, amen. But how do you know that already God is already doing it? Amen. And as a church of believers, we want to continue to pray that God is going to deal with that total situation. Amen. So we are so excited. Amen. We have mixed emotions today. We're excited for what God has already done. Amen. It's good time to love someone, someone that you love truly, that as they go through anything, amen, they will touch you. Amen. So we just want you to pray. As you see that God will take this about a minute to explain to you. There's no way that we can have all this guilt and all these things and not willing to share with a woman of God and the people of God. We're willing, amen, to work together. Amen. Once so again, willing to work together and realize that there's no big eyes and little you and I with that same goal. Amen. But we here today. Amen. Every Sunday moving forward and every weeknight moving forward, every Bible study moving forward, every conference moving forward, every feeding moving forward, amen, coming together, amen, to help to impact the city and to help to impact this this kingdom, amen, and all I can say to God be the glory, amen, and I tell you, it's beautiful, amen, in the sight of God, I tell you, I feel good in my spirit today, that even now, that even as we go through things individually, now we can come together, amen, and truly see that we can begin to impact each other ministries. We can begin to grow, amen. There's no other man we were just talking about, amen. Deacon Troy, is, is he coming in too? Is he outside? Amen. All right, so he sent his wife to represent, amen. Come on, give God We will be still going through and still be concerned about the truth of the living God. Amen. And I tell you, God is really going to get the glory and do some things. And we are grateful that it's not household armor. Amen. For coming into the church and to the pastors. Amen. We welcome you. Amen. Come on, give that hand. We welcome you. Amen. There's no membership application. There's no tradition. She and her members will have the same rights as all of us. Amen. Amen. We'll say that again. She and all her members will have the same right. This is our church. Amen. One church. Universal. Amen. Under the offices of the Lord and Savior that we often see that we love and we truly love him. Amen. We will begin to love on each other. Amen. And begin to hold up and lift up each other. So on behalf of my wife and I, we want to welcome them. Come on, let's give that hand the praise. Let's just begin to embrace them. A lot of our members are not here today, amen. But that's all right, we're going for it. Come on, let's do it one time. Let's begin to embrace Especially on communion Sunday. Come on, hallelujah. Amen. Come on, let's embrace it. This is celebration time. And we come to celebrate a Savior's promise that you can command that he will never leave us. So let's show he's a Savior. Oh, my God. 